I am JD Wolf, and welcome back to my XCOM Enemy Within campaign. Let's get back to the story. With our new influx of credits, the commander decided to uh, place a power generator beneath the base. An extra six power, plus one for the adjacency bonus. A few days later, The experimental warfare 12 days out. Excavation Raven 1 up, complete. Sergeant Laura Wilson out. But the excavation was completed where he had made room for the next satellite uplink. So he had engineering excavate more power beneath the base. Complete. The power generator was completed. The workshop was getting close. So a few days Command, later. The council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. We received a council mission. This council mission was portent. It was the beginning of our encounter with Exalt. It was worth one scientist, one engineer, and 150 credits. So the commander decided to go. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. The commander chose to take Echo, our sniper. Prototype, a heavy. Mama Bear, our heavy healer. And Fiona Clark, our other sniper. Two heavies, two snipers. Everybody piled onto the Sky Ranger, and I took off. I flew them across China, across Saudi Arabia, into Europe, to France. Specifically, Lyon, France, for Operation Stone Sleep. There's been widespread speculation about this ambush on a French military convoy, but we don't have much to go on. Our primary concern is the Council Intel report indicating alien activity in the area. We need to secure the site and look for some clue as to what happened here. Objective updated. Fiona led the way. Moving okay. into the corner there, uh, in full cover, she had the sprint ability, she could move quite far. Um, the whole team followed. They wanted to pull in, not be able to be spotted from anyone outside, and only be inside this building so that they could slowly move toward the front of the building and then open the doors and activate the aliens from there. Still, they wanted to be careful because the building was damaged and there's a lot of ways to see inside the building if you're not careful. Moving into the building, Fiona on one side, and Echo on the other, with the heavies in the middle. When they don't see anything, Fiona moves up as far as she can. And Prototype and Mama Bear move to the left side. And Echo moves right there. What they were worried about is on the right side over there. On the other side of that door, the wall is missing. If they were to spot anything or anybody spot them through that, that would be unfortunate. Fiona moved up to be sure it was clear, which you saw it was. Echo moved all the way to the side of that garage door with Prototype and Mama Bear moving up into half cover. Mama Bear moving up next to Prototype over there. Still nothing. Okay. Of course, with the uh, aliens okay. already pre-programmed to appear in certain spots, they don't really have to go on Overwatch to protect themselves. Still, they do it anyway. Snipers at the door. Heavies at the big door. Prototype open the door, and there they are. Two on that side, on the roof. One drops down, hides behind the car. The other goes inside. Two on the ground level, facing them. They both move to the left side of the second building. Prototype takes aim at the ones on the right. Since she has a nice clear shot and can encompass both, killing them with her main rocket. Mama Bear does the same. She equips her rocket, aims, encompasses both. 90% to hit, fire. Thank you. 
so at this point they had activated two groups of aliens and uh, rather than try and take them out with right guns um, they decided to just go ahead and use the rockets you don't want to mess around with the thin men if at all possible and this is the most dangerous area right here they opened the big door and they activated both groups that's four thin men now that those two groups are taken care of Hi, if they're commander. careful they can move in prototype leading the way to the next building and take the uh, rest of the aliens on you know one uh, pair one group at a time yes, prototype moved as far as she could mama bear following in her footsteps could not make it up the ladder I'm on the move. hiding into full cover echo backs out and goes around following in the footsteps and since she has the sprint ability she can move quite now. far Fiona leaving Fiona behind <laughs> in her dust Fiona has to move as far as she can the others will On wait for her. prototype moves across the middle of the I'm roof rolling. thankfully activating nothing nobody no, on the ground can see who's on the roof there are no holes in the roof so that's nice on the move. and then mama bear and finally Fiona moving up uh, beside mama bear I'm on it. now the objective I'm here on. is to um, attack one side of the building at a time first they're gonna go um, and look over this right side there now. but what they quickly discover is that Fiona as you can see cannot Let move actually to the edge and get into cover and won't move so they move her into a clear spot but still um, and mama bear moves up as well so that next turn they can assault this side Fiona moves up into that corner in the area, Commander. New objective received. and not only do they take sight of the objective the aliens move behind cover she has a better chance of taking the one farther away Seven, and she takes it out Echo moves up Trying to get a good I'm angle on, on it. Right to the edge. She can see it. Her chance is 78 with 55 critical. She takes it. And kills it. She got the critical. Now we immediately shift to the left side. So our two heavies, uh, Prototype and Mama Bear, move in that direction. Go on to Overwatch and wait for the snipers to come up and join them. Echo and Fiona. Echo can move quite a ways and still be in Overwatch. Fiona has to sprint or dash to get that point. But they're all close enough to the edge now that they can move in and assault that uh, left side of the building. Commander, looks like there's still someone alive over there. If we can bring them in for questioning, maybe we can figure out what happened here. So we do need to go get him. On the move. Uh, Echo moves to the edge and does not see anything. So basically there's no aliens uh, over there, they believe. Moving. Though they do expect to have aliens up front. I'm Everybody on it, moves up a little bit. Not so much. They want to be close enough moving? to where um, the, the objective here is now to get the heavies Moving. close enough to the edge to shoot that front edge. We're going to call it the front. This front edge um, up to that those refrigeration units up there such that they can fire the rockets down but they won't be spotted immediately by doing that and that does happen. They manage to move up. The snipers Fiona and Echo come in behind and burn the turn. We should try to reach that survivor if we're going to get to the bottom of this. So now it's time to assault the front. Fiona moves up, activates the thin men, and unfortunately they spread out. One going one way, one going the other, which is not cool. Echo says, I got this. She moves to the side, flanks the alien down below, 89 to hit, 100 critical. And just like that, they have one. Now, in order to save rockets, Fiona looks 70% with a 55 critical. That's a good chance. Bye bye. Target's still but up. she misses the shot completely. So now it's getting a little, a little hairy. Um, prototype has shredder rockets. 
She fires and hits. Now Mama Bear could move up and take a chance with the gun or play it safe, go ahead and use the shredder rocket now and just have everybody out of rockets. But, uh, still able to kill the enemy without allowing them to take a shot. So the heavies are useful if the snipers miss. But of course, had we had four snipers, they could have come up okay. beside Fiona okay. and added their chances to hit to hers. And, uh, you know, with three shots going at him, uh, he'd have gone down. Echo moves over one square. Everybody else is arranging themselves for the trip back. Commander, there's definitely someone still alive over there. They may be our only hope of figuring this out. Echo drops down to grab the survivor. Might as well leave me here. <clears throat> I have nothing to say to you people. It looks like he's the only witness to survive this fight. And for all we know, he was one of the aggressors. We need to bring him in, whether he likes it or not. We have a new objective. With her mission accomplished, Echo moves as far as she can up onto the roof, giving herself a good uh, field of fire also. And they pull the survivor up and put him uh, in kind of a hidden spot okay. up on the roof. Heavies move up into full cover. Fiona moves up a bit. They're trying to spread out and cover as much area as possible in front of them. The front now being what used to be the back. And here they come. One thin man right in their midst. One on the tank. Three overwatch shots. Three points of damage. Two misses. Adjusting sights. They didn't have four overwatch shots because Echo had to uh, dash back. Prototype turns around, 83% to hit. And it's a miss. We only need three points of damage. Mama Bear shoots at 73%. Kills it. That leaves the two snipers to try to take out this one thin man on the ground on the tank over there. Echo moves to the side, cannot see him. Fiona moves up, thinking she can get to that spot without treating his overwatch and fails. Luckily, the overwatch shot misses, allowing her to take aim. 95 to hit, 100 critical. She takes it out. She's out of ammo. Survivor, keep your head down. Echo reloads. The next turn, everyone else reloads. Echo on overwatch. Everybody holding position, allowing the poison gas to dissipate. head down on the survivor in this mission only moving the survivor up triggers any aliens moving so out. they feel confident they can go ahead and move up get into position without activating anything the heavies on the edge you want to right behind them echo moves right up to where there's little, like, one little uh, tile of ledge remaining everyone on overwatch in case something drops in nothing does Move the survivor up behind them into full cover and put themselves on Overwatch and wait for the aliens to drop in. Sure enough, there's one right there on that little ledge. Four Overwatch shots, nine points of damage, and two wasted sniper shots. Let's do this. Everyone stops and reloads, holding their position. Survivor head down. What are you trying to prove? And now we're ready to move forward. Prototype moves on to the first building. Dashing all the way down and back up. We didn't see anybody else drop in. We're pretty confident that the map has been cleared. Mama Bear moves up behind her. 
getting just enough uh, distance to go and position herself exposed at the top of the ladder. Echo, yes, having the sprint ability, can move to the now front of that first building. I call it the front. <laughs> you know, what's the front? Got what's it. the back? Who knows? Uh, Fiona cannot move from her position up to the roof of the other one, so she only moves into full cover there. Since she can't do that, they decide not to move there the, now. Uh, the survivor. Prototype moves to the front. Mama Bear back middle. Running. And Fiona gets up on the roof uh, beside Mama Bear. As a dash. Yes, and they uh, burn the turn again oh, without moving the survivor. Scanning. So, now that everyone is on the roof and can be in Overwatch, they move the survivor forward as far as he can go, which is not on the roof again but in full cover from quite a number of directions. And they hold position into Overwatch. Now, when you move the survivor up that much, right, you take a risk of dropping in more than just a couple. We have a sectoid there, we have a thin man there. Reaction shots kill the sector. But another one drops in there, and one drops in way back over here. Damn it! So the one way back is... They're just going to have to stay out in front of the one way back and try to move forward and kill these three. So first prototype has a 50% chance to just take it out, so she takes it. And does successfully take it out. Echo has a better chance on the farther one at 81%, so she takes it. Now, we should have checked if Fiona um, had sight of one or both of them. Thankfully, the one that's left is the one that she has sight on. 85% with a 55 critical. She takes the chance. And it is a hit, but it, she did not get the critical. Mama Bear's the only one left. She moves beside her, trying not to trigger the Overwatch. 70% chance to take it out. To succeed. Now at this point, there is only one thin man left and he is way in the back. They pull the survivor as far forward as possible, away from that remaining thin man, but not into the poison gas, of course. Right into the middle of the Looks roof. Looks like the aliens are sending in reinforcements, Commander. Now of course, in moving the survivor up, now more aliens have been activated. Here's one dropping in right there. They have to take that one out. But thankfully it's only that one. 90% chance to hit, but no chance to critical. Negative ammo. Huh? It only has one hit point. Mama Bear takes it out. Oh, no. That leaves the two snipers able to go on Overwatch and protect the survivor who cannot, no matter what he does, reach the um, the extract zone in one move. So they put him where they think he will be able to, well they know he'll be able to reach it in one move and Moving hopefully out. not run through that thin man that thin man's overwatch That's they pull the snipers back Fiona moves back into half cover there Roger, being able to see down Scanning. through the skylight and also up on the roof both snipers on overwatch and hopefully if a thin man appears they'll be able to take it out thin man does not appear and they take the chance of running the survivor directly straight down and back toward Sky Ranger. <coughs> You're still not getting anything from me. VIP is safe and on board. Well done. Now you just need to eliminate any remaining hostiles. So, Objectives sure enough, updated. even though um, the mission is complete, we have to kill this last Moving one. To Why? I don't know. Prototype moves up, reloads. It's time. Mama Bear pulls back into full guys? cover for that direction and reloads. I'm on the move. Fiona moves to the side in case they get spit at, and Echo goes on to Overwatch. Now, with everyone reloaded, they decide it's time to get a little aggressive. Echo moves to the edge, and sure enough, without triggering his Overwatch, she just appears on the edge of his vision. 84%, 55 critical. She takes her shot. 
Negative damage. And misses. Moving. Well, that's unfortunate. Echo moves up to the edge and for some reason is unable to that's see the target. Prototype moves up right there. Can't yeah, see. Mama Bear moves up maybe in front of this little opening she'll be able to see. Someone's no, she does not. I feel, Commander. Everyone goes on Overwatch. Scanning. Though, at this point, it's possible they could have thrown grenades down on it. They didn't even think of that at the time. And thankfully, he does not kill one of our snipers, um, Fiona. Prototype moves up. And now, for some reason, Mama Bear can see. I guess the damage to the wall allowed a slight gap that she can see him. Prototype needs to experience a 50% chance for critical results in just a regular hit, so Mama Bear finishes the job. Excellent work, Commander. Our friend here might be uncooperative at the moment, but I have a feeling a talk with Dr. Valen will change his tune. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it's done. 17 aliens, nobody died, nobody even scratched. So, big party in the Sky Ranger on the way back. A huge win for us on a very, very dangerous mission, especially for only having four troopers. Not a single casualty among the entire squad. That takes a solid effort. All right, so there's three promotions. Mama Bear, she can take uh, Grenadier or Danger Zone. She hardly ever uses grenades. Uh, Danger Zone to increase the area of effect of her rockets is uh, much better. So we're going to go with that for Captain Mama Bear. Echo gets promoted to Lieutenant. Now, Disabling Shot versus Gunslinger. But she's a snapshot sniper, so Gunslinger is out of the question. Disabling Shot is going to be awesome for trying to capture aliens. Well, maybe not awesome, but helpful. Um, and Fiona has a call sign of Garot, or Garrett. I believe uh, Garot is the correct, correct pronunciation. Um... Again, Gunslinger, she has Snapshot, but Resilience is immune to Criticals, which is a top-tier ability, so she's going to take Resilience. And hopefully, Garot will be able to make it all the way to the end of the uh, campaign. We can now uh, build a laboratory. We get one scientist, one engineer, and 150 credits. Remember, we will be watching. And the mission was a success. I hope you enjoyed that mission. Until next time, stay safe.